going on world sherman brown here we had nypd headquarters the academy we're going to talk to some cadets uh these are folks who've been you know putting their life out there getting ready to sacrifice but we're going to give them some encouraging words you know we've been seeing a lot happening with uh, police officers and the community we're trying to bridge a gap and build a connection so check out the headquarters we're about to head up here now we're about to make some things happen all right see you guys But I'm not sure if you're really understanding why you are here. Why are you here? You want to be a police officer. Why are you here? Want to be a police officer. Why are you here? Want to be a police officer. Why are you here? Why are you here? Say that again. I need to hear you, officer. You want to become a police officer. Why are you here? Everybody wants to be a police officer. Everybody's telling me the why what they're considering to be the why, but really that's your what. Because when people talk to you, they can ask you, what, what, what do you do? I'm a police officer. Why are you doing it? Because I want to be a police officer. It wouldn't make sense, right? So you're telling me your what? You're not telling me your why. Why are you here? That's a question that we don't ask ourselves. That's a question that we don't dig deep down. Why are you here when you know that there might be a terrorist attack, like on September 11, and you're going to have to run towards it? Why are you here? Your why has to be deeper than just the superficial stuff that we say. Because although all of these accomplishments has happened, the biggest accomplishment in my life is this young woman right here. See this little baby right here? That's my daughter, Soleil Rayel Brown. Remember that name. And you see this little girl right here? Most energy in the world. And I get excited every day I get to wake up and see this little girl. So when people ask me, why do you teach? Why do you travel the country? Why do you do the work that you do? Why do you have an empowerment institute that has over 100 young men that you're working with to help develop competence, confidence and character? I said, because my daughter's life is on the line. I gotta make sure she's prepared so that she could be, let me tell you, I gotta make sure that the world is prepared and the people who I'm talking to are prepared so that when they get out there, she is safe. My daughter's life is on the line. Is your mother's life on the line? Is your family's life on the line? Why are you here? And understand this, let me be very clear. You will never give the best of yourself until you discover the rest of yourself.